Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. I still don't know where in the camera I need to look for my eyes to not be all crazy, so just bear with me. But this will be for all signs, so no matter what type of human you are, if you were attracted to this video, something in it is going to be for you. We will start out with the African American tarot deck, my fave. I feel like I need to go ahead and put on my ring and bracelet, which I usually do have on. I just forgot. Unakite bracelet from Pretty Stassi on Facebook. Ring courtesy of Yellow Springs. If you're in Ohio and you've never been to Yellow Springs, you're really missing out. If you're into hippie or esoteric type stuff anyway. But all right, let's pull some cards. What's going on with the collective? First thing that came out is the Empress in Reverse and the Emperor Upright. So if you're in any type of two-person dynamic or partnership, it looks like you guys are just at odds right now. So this isn't necessarily saying who's right or who's wrong or whether anyone's right or wrong because sometimes things are just different and you have to find a common ground. But it's definitely showing, even if it's not a man or a woman, just two people that are usually a good team are in opposition right now. So that's you and somebody. So with this Four of Swords in reverse, it's showing that it would be honestly best for you to take a step back and really think about what your objective is at this time. But it seems like you both have the mindset to force your opinion or force your view on the other person, and that's not quite working. So I'm getting that your spirit team here with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles is going to step in and give you some really good advice about how to handle this situation. You just have to be open to it and willing to listen to what they're telling you to do because this is not a situation where the relationship can't be salvaged or anything like that. It's just a rift between you two, but it needs attention for sure. With this King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, I'm seeing that you or the other person, just take it however it resonates, but you're really in your feelings right now. It's definitely taking a toll on you, even though it's not something that's like, an end of the world or end of the relationship even type of deal. It's like, I just didn't expect this from you. And that's really throwing me for a loop. And so there with that hierophant, I'm seeing whoever's feeling that way, you or the other person, you're really praying for some clarity. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards and get some more information on the situation. Spirit, what is the Empress in Reverse? Oh, that flew and fell. The Chariot. What is the Emperor, please? We got Radiate Positivity playing in the background. I just felt like we needed that. But you got the Chariot and the Seven of Swords. So there's some temptation here, either from or for you or them to be dishonest in this situation if that's gonna help make it get over soon so maybe you're tempted to just be like you know what you're right let's just move forward but maybe they're not right and you are and you need to stick to your guns this time it's just saying there's a lesson in this and if you forego this lesson it will come back with a vengeance. So sit down and see for you, like, what could this possibly be teaching you? Like, why would this situation come out of the blue? Or why is this seemingly out of character? Because sometimes it's just that we judge people based off their potential or how we can see things going. And we're not really getting to know who they really are. So it's like, this is just showing you them. You got the Magician upright again with the Five of Swords in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So let me spread these out better. But in this case, with all five of these, it's showing that you do have all the tools you need to overcome this conflict. Because again, your spirit team, they're going to give you some really good advice. They're going to step in. So make sure you're meditating so that you can hear them and you have your spiritual eye out for any type of messages even like a facebook post or something that might really stick out to you like that's from them trying to help you figure out what to do so it's saying that you do have all the tools and the support and everything 
to get through this and come out stronger and whatever is lacking due to this situation is going to improve and be better. Let's clarify the King of Cups and the Hierophant. We have the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So I just heard, don't let pride get in your way. I'm hearing that a lot of you just, it's like two, two main groups. You either just really want to get it over with or you just really want them to see that you're right. But that's probably not what the lesson is. You're, I'm hearing that for a lot of you, honestly, your lesson is not to just let things get pushed under the rug. Like don't be a people pleaser. Your voice definitely matters. And also just learning how to compromise and how to speak up for yourself which I guess are kind of the same lesson, very similar lessons for sure. So let's pull some oracles for further understanding. Something from the affirmation deck first. Everything always goes in my favor and I am bold. So that's definitely confirmation that some of you, your lesson is that you have to learn how to speak up for yourself and not always people please because it's just not your job. It's not your obligation to take care of everybody and their feelings the way that they want things to go. You deserve for somebody to be considering you the same way that you consider other people. Like we all have to be a little bit selfish because at the end of the day, like I'm only responsible for me and you're only responsible for you. But it tells like what kind of person you really are if you take that extra time to consider other people. So it's like you see it as just you being a good person, being nice or whatever, that you are considering other people so much. But a lot of a good thing or too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So you're considering other people too much to the point to where you're not considering yourself. And so also when you start considering yourself instead, it shows other people how to treat you. Something from your spirit guides from the unicorn deck. Cosmic Pearl and Unicorn <laughs> Cosmic Pearl and Unicorn Portal. So here with this Unicorn Portal, um, what sticks out the most is it says, listen for a message. So we've already brought that up a few times during this reading. Your spirit team is trying to give you some advice on how to move forward best so that you can get this lesson in the bag and not have to continue repeating it. Because I'm hearing this has came up for you a lot of times before, but you haven't quite connected the dots that this keeps repeating itself so make sure that you're meditating and sitting in silence again and just keeping your spiritual eyes and ears open so that you can hear the messages that they're trying to give you to help this situation go as smooth as possible also you got this 34 breaks down to a seven and it's all about rest and expanding your casual or your um your casual chakra and your psychic gifts those go hand in hand so again it's just talking about relaxing sitting back meditating things that are softer and more docile so that you don't miss this message they're really really urging that point being a dead horse almost but maybe you don't get it yet and you just need those reminders i don't know let's get some messages from your ancestors first out is keepers of the earth and then you got mirror and priestess. So with this keepers of the earth, again, it's your ancestors letting you know that you're not alone. They're here with you every single step of the way, even when you don't realize it. Even times where it's like you just happen to hear a random noise in the background when you have a, third, a thought. Like that's them alerting you that, yes, you're on the right track and they're here with you. So again, just being more open to those experiences and keeping your spiritual eyes and ears on because it's like you notice these things but you haven't been realizing what it means this is your spirit team trying to communicate with you and then you also got what is triggering you because everybody is just a mirror so like let's say somebody is yelling in a restaurant and it doesn't bother you that much because they're like further away you can still enjoy your meal with your person but you get home and your kids are yelling and that's disturbing you because it's like 
you're in closer proximity and you have things to do and so it's just bothering you for whatever reason so that teaches you that yelling is not the issue because if the problem was that you really truly hate yelling you would be equally disturbed in both situations so it's like you have to really unpack what's bothering you so that's what they would like you to do in this situation as well whatever started the conflict regardless of who's right or wrong for you to unpack about unpack why you reacted the way that you did in this situation and what can that teach you and then how are you being called to step up and lead? I'm hearing be bold and make the first move. Maybe the other person is never going to come around to putting their pride to the side, picking up some humility and finding a common ground. So it's going to be up to you to do that, to salvage this relationship. It's like if you don't do that, you guys will eventually move on, but you'll harbor some type of resentment. So it's better for you to sit down and really talk about what happened this time and truly get over it. Some messages from the moon deck. Take time to breathe out. This again is all about taking a break, stepping back and just listening. So I'm guessing you guys have a habit of not doing that and just moving forward or being impulsive because there's so many reminders to just relax, take a chill pill. As an Aries, I understand that. That Pisces be balancing me out to be putting out the fire though. But I understand. One more message from the Cannabis Oracle to go ahead and close this out. Temperance. Be patient. You won't find a solution overnight and you won't always get an answer to your prayers instantaneously. It might take a little bit of time and you just got to deal with that. Time doesn't really exist in the spiritual realm. That's why all the readings are timeless. This is just like a speck of dust for them. Even if it might take you two months to get it together and resolve this. I hope it doesn't because I personally like shit handled by midnight. But even if it takes that long, just know that it'll be worth it because this is a valuable lesson for you. And this is a valuable person for you. This is not the first time or the last time this person's gonna trigger you, but the purpose is for them to help you grow and you to help them grow. So that is what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and hit that subscribe button. I do. I was about to say drop videos every day. I don't drop videos every day anymore. That was about to be a bold face lie. But eventually, I will go back to posting videos regularly. But at any rate, when I do post them, there's a motherfucking message for you. And you don't want to miss that. So make sure you're following me. And then if anything super resonating, you're like, oh my God, I would love some more information, some more guidance. Or this just piqued your interest and you got a question about something completely different you can book a personal reading with me by clicking the link in my description box you'll see my website there with a variety of different readings for you to choose from and at that 1313 that's a sign for somebody all right y'all peace